Fans of Legends of Dodger Baseball is a recognition of Dodger greats and their impact on the franchise, both on and off the field. The late great Dodger pitcher Don Newcomb was the first inductee back in 2019. Other inductees include Steve Garvey, Fernando Valenzuela, Kirk Gibson, and Maury Wills. This year, two players are scheduled to be inducted. The Bulldog, Oral Hershiser, will be inducted on July 29th. And today, Manny Moda will become the latest inductee into the legends of Dodger baseball. Here to MC the induction ceremony is Dodger broadcaster and the son of tonight's honoree, Jose Mota. Welcome, everybody. This feels like a giant fiesta, huh? I'll tell you one thing. This reminds me of the times when we would arrive in the Dodger clubhouse and Dusty Baker would go, one, two, three, ten. Muchos motas aquí. Remember that? It's such a wonderful day and, and what an honor for me to be able to hold the ceremony where we will induct a Dodger legend who happens to be my father into the legends of Dodger baseball, Manuel Mota. Before we get moving though, I'd like to introduce some special guests, each whom has a special meaning to my father. First of all, the Mota family, La Familia, the matriarch who has been married to my father for 60 years, my mother, Margarita. <laughs> Representing the Dominican Republic, the Consul General of the Dominican Republic on the West Coast of the United States, Senor Alfonso Rodriguez. <laughs> my father was his coach in the Dominican Republic for the Tigres of Bice and with the Los Angeles Dodgers, Oral Mershizer. <laughs> A legend of Dodger baseball and my father's former teammate, Steve Garvey. A Dodgers icon, my father's dear friend, compadres, and Hall of Fame broadcaster, Jaime Arrín. Former Dodger owner. In my father's day as a coach and player, Mr. Peter O'Malley. As some of you know, uh, my father was known for riding a bicycle or trike around spring training, first of all in Dodger Town, Florida, and then later in Glendale, Arizona, at Camelback. We thought it would be appropriate to have one of those bikes here for today's ceremony. So please welcome four-time All-Star and former Dodger, Adrian Bertre, delivering one of those on my desk, fair drive. Some of you here in attendance know my father is a Dodger player. Some of you know him as a Dodger coach, and some of you know him as a hero in the community. For those of you who don't know Manny Moto, please watch this video, narrated by one of my favorites, former teammate Rick Monday on Dodger Vision. For more than 50 years, Manny Moda has worn the Dodger name across his chest with, in his words, pride, honor, and dignity. Born and raised in the Dominican Republic, where he learned to hit by swatting a line wrapped in paper and bound by string, he became one of the most influential baseball figures in the country's history. Moda made his Major League debut on April 16, 1962 with the Giants, but he found a forever home at Dodger Stadium after being traded from the Montreal Expos to the Dodgers on June 11, 1969. 
Manny batted 315 over 13 seasons with the Dodgers and became one of baseball's all-time great pinch hitters. On September 2nd, 1979, he broke baseball's all-time pinch hits record, a record he held for 22 years. In the years after, he was a Dodger coach, a broadcaster, and a mentor to players from all backgrounds. He's a devoted husband, married 60 years to Margarita, a father, grandfather, and great-grandfather. Those who know him often call him Papa, a nod to his influence and gentle nature. He is also a hero to many, having been a tireless advocate for people in need, from L.A. to the Dominican Republic and beyond. And today, Manny becomes a legend of Dodger baseball. Hola, Manny. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Uh, felicidades por el ingreso a Leyenda de los Dodgers. Muy merecido. Así es de que nuevamente, muchas felicidades. Hi, Manny. This is Mike Sosha. I want to congratulate you on the great honor of being inducted into the legends of Dodger baseball. You're truly a legend. Enjoy it. You deserve it. And God bless you, Manny. First and foremost, Manny, congratulations on being inducted into the Dodger legends. Uh, and secondly, I just want to thank you for your friendship, for being one of my mentors, to being my manager in Dominican Republic as I was trying to work my way up to the big leagues and teaching me so much about baseball. But what you deserve as being inducted into the Dodgers legends, I'll tell you what, on and off the field, you've accomplished so much. Congratulations. Hey, Manny, Steve Sachs here. I just wanted to tell you congratulations on being inducted into the legends of Dodger baseball. Man, you deserve it, and um, I want to thank you for everything you did for me, especially early in my career, helping me as a hitting coach and just being a, a great person. So thank you, Manny. Congratulations. Manny, congratulations in entering the Dodger Legends of Baseball. Uh, I'm so honored to be uh, in it with you. But more importantly, thank you for over 50 years of a, of a friendship both on and off the field. Uh, the more I think about it, you're probably the one man that influenced my career uh, more than anyone else. So teaching me how to play the game, um, how to do it with, with grace and sportsmanship, uh, and also about uh, being a man, transitioning from the field into the community, and of course internationally, being a great disciple for uh, the Hispanic ball players that have made such a tremendous difference in, in baseball. baseball. So congratulations. Uh, and again, uh, it's been an honor uh, to be around you today. Hola, Manny, tu hijo. I just want to wish you the best on a great day for a great man and a deserving man, a great Dodger legend. I love you. I wish you all the best. Right along with all the beautiful fans of Dodger Stadium. So enjoy your day and thank you, Manny, for the many things you did for all of us in Latin America. Thank you, Manny. We love you. God bless you and enjoy your day. Mi viejo, muchas felicidades, congratulations on getting inducted into the Legends Dodger Baseball. I'm so proud of you. I'm sure your family is so proud of you. God bless you. Take care. Hey, big guy. How many times did you address me like that and then ask me to sign two baseballs? For one of your cherries, of course. Congratulations on being inducted into the Legends of Dodger Baseball. For seven decades, you've proudly worn Dodger blue. And when I hit the home run in the 1988 World Series, you were the first to congratulate me since you were the first base coach. The Dodgers have been fortunate to have you in the organization for so many years as a player, coach, and an ambassador. Enjoy your special day. You can tell that uh, when we set up on the family section, it was like the entire session, through the entire session. And what happened was, anytime my dad's name was called, eight, ninth inning, game on the line, Manny Moda, the entire session would go, he just stares down, so my fingernails still haven't grown. But Dad, you coming through so many often, so many often times just relieves so much stress in the entire family. Thank you for doing that. Especially when we broke the record. That was quite special. And we talk about somebody that um, 
Call so many of those moments. I would like to call to the point of my manhood. Call so many moments of my father's career. One of my father's best friends and Hall of Fame broadcaster. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium, Senor Jaime Arrin. Thank you, Manny. Muchísimas gracias, Manny. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have had the pleasure of knowing Manny Mota for more than 50 years. He was not only a great player, but a great person as well, and I am proud to call him my friend. My entire family extends their best wishes and congratulations to Manny for everything he has meant to the Dodgers, to the Southern California community, and to all the, life, and the lives he has touched here and in his native Dominican Republic. Para mí, amables amigos, es un placer muy grande y un honor tremendo estar aquí esta noche felicitando a Manuel. Manuel Mota se merece este y muchos homenajes más. Yo sé que el público de habla hispana particularmente ha seguido fielmente ese trajinar tan espectacular de Manuel Mota, primero como jugador, luego como coach, como instructor y después también como cronista deportivo. Tuve el placer de trabajar con él, ha sido mi analista en la televisión y en la radio durante mucho tiempo. Así es que para mí esta noche es un placer muy grande y les doy a nombre de los Dodgers, a todos ustedes, la más cordial bienvenida aquí a esta ceremonia en honor de Manuel Jerónimo Bota. Gracias. a global impact from Los Angeles to the Dominican Republic and beyond. He was born, raised, and learned the game of baseball in Santo Domingo, a place where he envisioned, along with his wife, my mother, Margarita, and the rock of his family, a foundation to help the less fortunate. He has also been an influential figure at the Dodgers' own academy in Las Palmas, in the Dominican Republic, and in some of the youngsters in Las Palmas want to also share their vision in the message. As Walter Alston and Tommy Lasorda did so often, we're now to the point of the game where a change needs to be made. We need somebody to come through, because I'm not. In this very critical situation, the man that can get it done. I cannot think of anyone better for the moment. Todd Lights, can you announce who that is? It's hitting for the Dodgers. Number 11, and the newest legend of Dodger baseball. Manny Moda! Buenas noches. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank God for giving me the ability to play Major League Baseball and allowing me to be here today. On behalf of my family, the people of the Dominican Republic, I'd like to thank the Dodger for recognizing me tonight as a Dodger legend. Quiero dar las gracias a nombre de la República Dominicana, a nombre de nuestra familia, al equipo de los Doyer por seleccionarme como figura este año de leyenda. Las gracias a Mark Walter, Stan Casting y all of the staff who made this possible and put this event 
together. I know it was a lot of hard work, a lot of people, a lot of education. They make it possible. And they show you what's hard, but not impossible. I consider myself a very honest person and very fortunate because I had the pleasure to play for from Minnesota, Walter Armstrong, and to receive advice and orientation from two of the greatest players in baseball, Mr. Uli Mays and Roberto Clemente. Yo me siento afortunado porque Dios me dio la suerte, me concedió de jugar para Tommy Lasorda, Walter Arso y recibir orientación y consejo de uno de los productores más grandes de la historia del béisbol, Mr. Uli Mays y Roberto Clemente. I remember what Uli Mays told me. Yo recuerdo lo que me dio Uli Mays. Play hard and respect the game. And Roberto me dijo, Roberto told me, don't forget where you come from. Represent your people with pride and dignity. I think I'm going too far now. I'm so grateful to this city because this city gave me the opportunity to say, LA is my home away from home. Siendo afortunado y orgulloso de decir que esta ciudad ha permitido decir que Los Ángeles es mi casa fuera de casa. To you friends, for the fanáticos, I love you all. And thank you for your great support. For the fanáticos, los quiero a todos y gracias por su respaldo. I want to close saying this. Voy a cerrar diciendo esto. Orgulloso de ser dominicano. Proud to be Dominican. Proud to be Latino. And grateful to this country. To give me the opportunity to be part of this great nation. Así que me siento orgulloso de ser latino. De ser dominicano. Y agradecerle a este país la oportunidad que me ha brindado de ser parte de esta gran nación. Que Dios los bendiga a todos. ¡En Let's Go Dodgers! Legend of Dodger Baseball, Steve Garvey and Jaime Harrin, can you now officially induct my father Manuel by revealing his plaque.